Hey, taking a live look outside, you know, it was nice to have the mm -hmm. sun out today, and it was also nice to have such good temperatures out there today. So I felt like early spring is what it felt like. Mm -hmm. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now. Ashley, not going to stay that way, though. Now, you know how this weather is. As soon as you like it, it changes. Of um, so today was lovely. We all loved it, and there are changes on the way. Uh, let's talk about this system. I want to kind of break it down and what it means for you and how it impacts you. For one, there are two storms coming our way this week. One is a spring storm. The second is a winter storm. So the first storm brings heavy rain, thunderstorms, and the threats of more severe weather. That's tonight into Tuesday night. Now, storm number two moves our way on Wednesday night, and this is the one that brings more of a messy situation, uh, the possibility of accumulating snow and a wintry mix with some ice possible. So two storms. We're actually waiting on the first to arrive. Cloud cover thickening over the area as we await the arrival of this storm. It feels great ahead of it. Temperatures coming in for us right now at 61 for Indianapolis. Feels like temperature not factored in because we're warm. Winds out of the south at around 13 miles per hour sustained. So winds have been 10 to 20 miles per hour here. And we are seeing winds pick up throughout the night. When will the rain arrive? Well, tonight we're going to stay in the 50s. This forecasting model not showing anything arriving for us until after 11 p.m. And some models giving us after midnight. So tonight there is in the overnight hours, I think a greater threat for severe weather for areas south. What this means for you is that we could see isolated strong and severe storms for areas around Terre Haute uh, into Bluey's and into Indianapolis. Now this risk for severe weather that that we're seeing with this system, you'll notice that it will increase overnight. Watch this. So 11 o'clock midnight, there we go. Isolated storm, strong storm sliding in here. 52 temperatures remain warm. This is unusual as the showers and storms are rolling through because the wind remains out of the south. We'll deal with a wet start to your day tomorrow. Showers, thunderstorms, heavy downpours of rain, and yes, the threat for isolated strong storms, mainly south. But the threat for severe weather that we're getting with this system actually remains high as south, but diminishes pretty quickly. Now, as this system moves out, then the colder air settles in for us. Because of the rain that we'll deal with late tonight and throughout the day tomorrow, there is a flood watch out. This flood watch about the heavier rain uh, that you'll deal with and the impacts on the roadways for you, which means ponding on the roadways, um, flooded, uh, flooded areas, I think, are possible for us as we get to Thursday to Wednesday evening. Um, tomorrow, showers and storms on and off throughout the day. It's not a good day for the umbrella. I said this earlier because we're dealing with lightning throughout the day. So rain jacket kind of day, rain boots, you'll need those as well, but not so much the umbrella. Winds breezy tomorrow as well, and it keeps our temperatures up because the wind remains out of the south throughout the day tomorrow. Now, Wednesday, such a huge temperature drop. Why? Because once the cold front works its way through on Tuesday night, colder air settles in for Wednesday, and then we see more precipitation arriving, but this time arriving as a bit of a wintry mix. Now, I am not comfortable giving you any kind of snowfall totals right now because we're dealing with a wintry mix, which means that really cuts down on any possibility of uh, snowfall totals that are incredibly high. So uh, a wintry mix is what we'll call it for now. Uh, rain, snow, and the possibility of ice with the system. Colder air settles in, and once the colder air is with us, it stays with us into the weekend. Peter and Brothers, heating and cooling forecast. You know, as we look at this system and what it means for you, you'll notice that temperatures are cold to end the week. Several chances for snow as we head into next week as well. Another cold one. So if you're looking forward to another 60 degree day like today, enjoy tomorrow because I'm not seeing much of that in this eight day forecast beyond tomorrow.